A TV refresh rate is how many times the screen refreshes itself every second. It's different from frames per second FPS, which defines how many frames the video source displays every second. The refresh rate is important for motion handling, as a higher refresh rate generally results in smoother motion, but it's not always the case. It's also important to not get confused with marketing terms that often inflate the refresh rate. This video explains the differences between a 60 HE and 120 HE refresh rate, how it affects the image, and how companies will try to trick you into thinking the TV has a higher refresh rate than it actually has. Even though we don't see it, our TV is constantly refreshing itself every second. A refresh rate defines how many times per second it draws a new image on the screen, and it's written out in Hertz HD. A 60 HD refresh rate means that the screen is refreshing itself 60 times every second, and at 120 HD, it's refreshing itself 120 times every second. This is different from frame rate, which is how many times per second the source sends a new frame. So if you have a source that's displaying 60 frames per second, you always want your TV to be refreshing itself 60 times slash seconds so that the refresh and frame rate match up. Otherwise, motion may look blurry. The refresh rate affects motion handling. The more times a display can draw a new image, the better it is for fast-moving content. Modern TV either have a 60 HD or 120 HD. Most high-end TV have a 120 HD refresh rate, but it doesn't mean they're inherently better at motion handling either. The response time determines how good motion looks. A quick response time means that motion looks clear while a TV with a slow response time leads to motion blur. Response time and refresh rate are indirectly related as a 120 HD panel is expected to have a better response time than a 60 HD panel, but it's not a guarantee. Since not all content will automatically have the same frame rate as your TV refresh rate, there are also ways a TV increases the frame rate to match up with the refresh rate, improving the appearance of motion. While a 120 TV doesn't inherently produce better motion, it can provide a few advantages over standard 6 TVS. One of the most important advantages is the ability to play back content that is meant to be displayed at 24 FPS, which is often found in movies. Most TVS can simply lower their own refresh rate to 24 when the content is 24 FPS, but some sources, such as Chromecast, output video at 60 FPS, even if the content is 20. This means that the TV's refresh rate remains at 6 and motion won't appear smooth, which is an effect called judder. A 6 TV has trouble removing 24 FPS jitter because 60 isn't a multiple of 20. To display this type of content, a technique known as a 3-2 pull-down is used. Basically, 12 of the 24 frames repeat 3 times, while the other 12 repeat twice, totaling 60 frames. Not everybody notices this, but it causes some scenes, notably panning shots, to appear juddery. However, 120s TVS have an advantage here because they can simply display each frame 5 times since 120 is a multiple of There are a few sources that display 120 FPS, such as the Xbox Series X or the PS5, and having a 120s TV helps display this. While it's rare to find content other than games with this frame rate, displaying 120 FPS has a significant impact on the perceived motion. As you can see in the picture below, Content looks much smoother at 120 FPS than at 60 FPS on a 120. With the release of HDMI 2.1, there may be more 120 FPS sources available in the coming years. This new HDMI standard allows TVS to display fork images up to 120 FPS, whereas HDMI 2.0. This means that 120 TVS may slowly become the norm. Another place where 120 HD is useful is if you enjoy the motion interpolation feature found on TV. It allows the TV to generate frames between existing ones, increasing the frame rate to match up to the refresh rate. Most TV have this feature. A 60 HD TV can interpolate 30 FPS content, while a 120 HD TV can interpolate 30 and 6. This is why a 120 HD TV is an advantage over 60 HD since it can interpolate more types. A source's frame rate isn't always constant, especially in games. It may drop and if that happens, it can lead to screen tearing because the frame rate of the game and the refresh rate of your TV don't match up. There's a feature called Variable Refresh Rate (VRR) that aims to match the refresh and frame rate on the go. So if the frame rate of the game drops, the TV automatically lowers its refresh rate as well. This is only possible if both the TV and the source support VRR. There are different formats of VRR with AMD FreeSync and VIDIA's G-Sync and HDMI form VRR being the three most common types. G-Sync is usually reserved for monitors, but some TV are compatible with it.
Higher end Samsung and LG TV have free sync, and support for HDMI form VRR is starting to grow on HDMI 2.1. As for compatible devices, the Xbox Series X supports free sync and HDMI form VRR, while the PS5 should receive an update in 2021 for HDMI form VRR. TV companies will often market their refresh rates in ways to make it seem like it's higher than it actually is. A company like Samsung uses the term motion rate. The motion rate on a 60HC TV is 120, while a 120HC model has a motion rate of 240. They effectively double the refresh rate to come up with this number, and there's no real explanation as to why it's marketed like that. LG uses true motion, Vizio has effective refresh rate, and Sony has two terms, Motion Flow XR and X Motion Clarity. These marketing numbers don't really mean anything, and you need to check the TV specs to find the real refresh rate. Thank you everyone for watching us till the end. It would be a great pleasure for us if you are a little helped with this video. Comment us below.